Good morning guys. It is morning, it is Saturday, and I have had a very, very slow start. I didn't get out of bed until like 20 past 10 or something like that, and everything is achy and I'm really, really tired. And I think it is because I did push a little bit this week so that I could go to work every day and all of that. Yeah, so I'm really tired right now, but we have things to do because Christopher goes away tomorrow and he's going to be away for a week. So we need to go and do the kind of big shopping today. So that is what we are doing this morning. But uh, good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I was supposed to do a lot of things today, but I ended up in the sofa and I ended up doing this. So this is the start and almost... Almost, look, I have one page left, or actually it's not even a full page, I think, uh, left of my little dragon. So I finished this page, which is, um, this is what I stitched during the head retreat. Um, so I had, I think I had about halfway through when I got to the head retreat. And as I said previously, I made a couple of hundred stitches during the head retreat, nothing more. But then I stitched this today. So I finished it off. I haven't stitched more than like 212 stitches. <laughs> Probably a couple more because I found a couple that I forgot to stitch when I was at those colors. And I don't re-add those. But around 212 stitches. But this is just confetti. So much confetti. But it's done now. Look. It's beautifully done. Um... Yeah, I've done one thing more. You can look at Leia when she's doing stuff while I'm doing this. Yes, it's chaos there. But this I made today. Um, it's Saturday and Saturdays I do Little Miss Muffet stamps cards. Um, I usually try to get them done before uh, the Saturday. Or I want to get them done before the Saturday. i am basically done these almost every time just that day. It's not the most perfect light, uh, it's not this yellow, but it, it will do. So I got the little lion, which is the stamp, which is an, uh, one of those digital stamps that you can get. And then this is a polka dot palace character, so they don't have a face, they just have eyes. So I just drew this little kitty face on top of it, looked at an, uh, an image of a real lion and kind of wanted to make the face look something like a lion. So this is the little cute lion. Um, and then I uh, used my Copic uh, pens to actually color this little orange thing to get the Happy Valentine's Day. It hid, hides a couple of tries of getting the Happy Valentine's Day underneath onto this cardstock which is watercolor cardstock I can tell you stamping on the rough side of a watercolor cardstock is not fun and then I used used distress inks this is my f absolute favorite way of doing cards at the moment is to play around with distress inks and like just smoosh them and finding a good color combination that fits with the image this is actually my third combination I had one that I've done for like four cards or something, but this is my third combinations using different kind of browns and stuff. So here it is, and I added some white to his eyes and nose. So that is how his look. Um, I don't have a video on how I did him. I just sat down and played, I had a lot of fun. He looks like a lion. He got really cute. Yeah. Uh, I also have recorded the video on how I split my PDFs and stuff, so that will be hopefully edited in the morning and uploaded, but we'll see. Right now, I'm going to sit down and actually continue on the Blue Dragon because I got a little bit inspired and now that I finished him, I want to start page 6. So that is what I'm doing this evening. It is time to head to bed, as Christopher goes up early in the morning to go to Berlin. Um, we both are heading to bed earlier, so we can get a good night's sleep, because I probably will go up at the same time to be able to say goodbye to him. He's gonna be away for almost a week. Aww. Yeah. Uh, I have been cross-stitching some, and I thought I'd show you that I actually have been. 
Uh, da -da -da -da. So this is what I have done. Yeah, it took a little while for it to focus. Um, I am down here, and as I do a lot of cross country stitching, these are all there's halves, and I'm gonna kind of just fill out and go up and go down. That is how I work. Um, so I have counted that I've done 194 full stitches, not these included uh, today. So I probably have even more oh, uh, because I count them when I mark them off uh, on my pattern. I haven't marked an, any of these off yet. So I've done a little more. Uh, I would believe that I've done around... Um, four, I've counted that I've done 406 stitches so far today. And that is included on page 5. Um, and um, therefore, uh, I done four and six totally on both four, uh, page five and six. Uh, but I probably done like four hundred fifty, really. But those will be counted tomorrow. So yeah, that is how I work. And it's just approximately, it's just to kind of figure out about how much time I've spent and about how much stitches I've done. Because, you know, I have some goals to do. Um, I've signed up for the next retreat that is going to be next year in crew. Uh, and just because uh, that retreat is going off and I'm all signed up and everything, I do want to have some done, so um, sort of have the idea that I want to finish this row of pages uh, for the first the first row of pages. We'll see. Um, it all depends on how fun that, fun I think things is. Like I want to work with the. Uh, I want to work with what draws me the most. And right now, it actually is blue. So, and I have nicknames for all my pro projects. Wrath is called Red. Uh, my blue dragon is blue. Um, and then we have the passport, which is the passport. Uh, so I kind of I call the bears. It's the row of love by dimension. So I have a couple of of stitches that I want to finish this year. Don't want to start that many. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm doing my blue dragon. But yeah, I'm going to head to bed, so good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye!